Hey there, wanted to create this short video to go over the behavior that I'm seeing on my end with the scroll rect and the, the text mesh pro component. So if I describe the scene, we've got a scroll rect right now that is set up with uh, horizontal and vertical scrolling, elastic property, and then a ch uh, I actually have a masking component attached to it. So if I enable masking, we can see that we're seeing only the masked area. If I pick the text mesh pro object, we can see that the text uh, greatly exceed the window that we're trying to scroll through. Uh, if I put this in play mode, you're not going to see my game view. I just wanted to make sure you could see the bounds of basically the text mesh pro object to see what it's doing. So as I scroll around, we can see that the elastic behavior is doing what it's supposed to do from all the different corners. Um, and if I hit, let's see, let's move it up here. And if I hit stop, then we can see it recenters the rect transform, which is what we expect. If I go here and change the modes to uh, unrestricted, uh, select the text mesh pro object again, you can see that I can go anywhere unrestricted as you would expect. And lastly, if I go to clamp and select again the text mesh pro object, you can see that now it's clamped in the different corners. So this is behaving as we would expect. Let me stop right now and go back and enable the scroll bars. <clears throat> so I have one horizontal and one vertical. Go back to play mode and again, oops, let me pick this text mesh for object. So in my game view with the mouse, I'm going all the way down, all the way up. So again, it's behaving as we would expect, left and right. So this is working fine on my end. I'm using the, I guess, 4.6, uh, I guess, patch 1, but not 4.6.1. Um, who knows? Maybe there was an issue with 4.6.1, um, or uh, something else is causing the behavior that you're seeing on your end. Make sure you're using a Text Mesh Pro UGUI object. Uh, again, you add those with Create UI Text Mesh Pro as opposed to 3D and Text Mesh Pro. I mean, I'm assuming you're using the correct one, otherwise you may have some rendering issues with the canvas and so on and so forth. But if you were, uh, this component doesn't use the rec transform, which is what the scroll rect is trying to drive, whereas this one obviously is a rec transform, which is this Text Mesh Pro object, which is effectively uh, driven correctly by the scroll rect. So that's basically it for this short little video. Uh, let me know if you can identify what the differences are in our setup. Again, just to go back over it, I have a canvas, a scroll rect, uh, then a text mesh pro object as a child, and then I basically added two scroll bars. I made sure that the text mesh pro object was linked in terms of the content, and I made sure that my horizontal and vertical scroll bars were hooked up, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you find out. Thanks.